Hi and welcome to the channel. Please like and subscribe this channel because we're trying to build it up and uh, I've got to put this at the front end because ain't nobody watching till the back end. As soon as you get your repair, you're out of here. <laughs> and I understand that. But please help me out. Thank you. Alright, next up today got a 2010 Ford F-150 that is not powering up in the truck. Let's see what it will do. Um, find my plug here. Let's see what it'll do on the bench. Sure, I got the right plug. 08 to 10 F250 should work on this one. Let's get you set up over here. I gotta run through this one pretty quick because uh customer sitting outside. Didn't want to come inside in the air conditioning, but it does allow me to do a video for y'all. Oh, plug it in, dummy. power in here. We have a little problem in the truck then. Let's take it apart and see what we got. A lot of times these cluster plugs are, yep, yep. look at there, dead. There we go. Easy money. Let's get this thing apart and get it fixed. T15s, two in the front, one in the back. Start popping your clips. You go barbarian on this one and use my fingernails. Oh, I don't got much fingernail over there though. Okay, I'm not as tough as I thought. We're going to get, a, get something to help out with that. Come on, let go. There we go. Set that aside. Gonna have to get the lens off. Come on. These clips are not. That one wasn't even in right from the factory. She's coming apart slowly but surely. A little outward pressure as soon as you get these clips popped and she works out a little easier. All right. These are a needle width below the zero point. We're going to go in needle width below on everything except the gas. And then it's about a needle and a half on the gas. So remember that for me, will you? Break them loose. Sometimes these big ones, you just want to twist them. Twist them and pull, twist them and pull. Is being ugly. Don't want to come off. Come on, man. Cranky one. Let's see if this will be any more friendly. Okay. Get 
that. A little outward pressure on the... Oh man, I'm doing most of our work off the camera here. A little outward pressure on the plug. And start unclipping your board from this plastic housing. something under there to put a little upward pressure as you pop your clips now that we got it coming up it should work out a little easier just work your way around We should be able to fire this bad boy up and get a little better idea of what we're dealing with here. Okay, so now we got no display when we fire it up. And then we get it to come alive when we put a little pressure on the plug. Let go of the plug, gone. Guess where your problem is? Bing. Out of bing. See if we can get a shot here of it under the microscope. Yep, there you go. All kind of broke loose. Gonna see if I can get that recorded for you. Let's go. There we go. And there's your primary culprit right there. Big ring around it, let go. This one's let go, this one's let go. Anyway, got a little language barrier with the customer outside. I don't speak Spanish, but he does. He don't speak English, but I do. So, but what I gathered was everything works and then everything dies. So if everything's working when it's working, I suggest we just do the header pins and stick her back in there. solder here. Not the tiny stuff, I want the big stuff. And roll off a little more here. There we go. Just get in a comfortable position and have your hands steady. Get your iron on there. You'll feel the solder melt. Just a delicate touch. And add you a little bit of solder to each one of them as you go. And that should be it. Clean your flux off of here. Oh, workbench is dirty. It's been a long day. Lots of clusters. Uh, what is that? The girls say crazy hair. Don't care. Clean it up. Oh. Clean it up later. Alright. Let's 
all done. Board back in. And I gotta take a break. Be right back. You won't even notice. All right, I'm gonna give you guys a little bonus content. When I took this needle off over here, the stop actually broke. So there is a stop on this. Uh, where's my camera? That is up in that, there's a little plastic piece that has broken off. And you can see it down in the motor. Right there. Okay. It is not that difficult to fix. Now these little gray motors, I don't know if there is any differential between the gray motors and the white motors that I have in my hand here. I've got several of these white motors that I uh, have pulled out of old clusters that had other problems other than the stepper motors. I don't know where you can get brand new steppers of this variety, but you don't run across the need for them very often at all. Anyhow, if you were to break that sucker, and all you have is white, well, guess what we can do? Oh, that's different. So I lied. There are different lengths. Unless I can get this off. Nope. So I need to go find myself some gray motors. Because all of that is junk now. Found me a second board that has the gray motors. It looks like I robbed quite a bit of stuff off already. So, no need to worry about trying to salvage anything on this board. We'll just rob it blind. Take this one out. Oh, chase it down the street because you dropped it. Put her back in this one. Should be ready to go back together. I don't know what you could do differently to keep from breaking that stop. It just is what it is. These things will break sometimes. Hopefully you've got the resources available to you to fix it. I said one needle width below the mark. And a half. That's a little much. Go around again. Try it again. There's a needle and a half below that one. And where's the last needle at? Right here. Alright. That should be it. We'll stand by. We're going to answer the phone. Time to check her work. 
Power's on. Nice merge there. Power's up good. We got no more fluctuation in power with movement on the cluster plug. Let's see if we can do a sweep test with it. Think these, I'm not sure how to get these in test mode. Oh, there it goes. There's your gauge sweep. Good to go. Alrighty. Apologize for having to go so fast with this one, but I feel sorry for the old guy sitting out in the garage sweating his ass off on a 88 degree day. I'm real, real sorry for him. I offered to let him come in the air conditioning. Alright, we'll clean it up for him. It's a super easy gauge to get out of the I set of gauges to get out of the truck. There's a this thing. It's got screws in four corners. Oh, well, actually up here, and then down here, you got four seven millimeter screws come out. Uh, before you get to that, though, you've got the bezel that goes over it, and in the bezel there are two. Uh, seven millimeter screws up top there and then the bezel just pulls off and then you, then you do these four and it's out so not a lot to show you there thanks a lot for watching um i appreciate y'all's time and i appreciate you hitting that like and subscribe button so help me out if you can do that i sure appreciate it, it makes a big difference to me and uh, until next time